Hey, in the middle with Mr. D1 at blogspot.com with some more teaching tips for lesson three of my sight singing program S Cubed, available on Teachers Pay Teachers at Music in the Middle with Mr. D. So we're on listening exercise number three, and for me it would be the third day of this particular unit, lesson three, ear training. Um, I would always ask some oral questions about sharp and flat singing and the bullseye um, to start. Then I would play the game, Forbidden Pattern, and I would sing lots of Do-Ti and Do-Ti-La and Do-Ti-Do, and I'd make the Forbidden Pattern something including T um, so that they can learn to get that in tune. And then I'm going to do Follow the Hand, and when fo I do Follow the Hand, I'm not going to go below Do. I'm only going to go between Do and High Do. And depending on the group that's in front of me, uh, if they're not so strong, I'm not going to go all the way up to the High Do. I'm going to feel it out. We want success. That's the essence of S cubed. So I might just go up to Sol. Now you're going to hear sharp singing when you go Mi Fa because they're just not trained enough yet. Some kids are going to go sharp, especially if they're young, fifth or sixth grade. Um, then we're going to do our ear training listening exercise part three. So in this one, I have the bullseye behind me, I have the piano close by, because I need to use one hand to be pointing, and the other hand to play the pitch over and over, so they're just joining that uh, information. The visual is really, really helpful uh, for the kids who learn visually. So I'm going to tell them, I'm going to point to the flat area of the bullseye, I'm going to play a pitch, so pretend I'm pointing to the flat area, and then I'm going to sing flat and I'm going to gradually lift my hand as I get to the bullseye. And I'm in the bullseye, pretend, and they hear that I went from flat to the bullseye. So they're seeing and connecting those dots. Then I'm going to tell them I'm going to sing sharp, and I point to the sharp part of the bullseye, pretend I'm doing that now. I start sharp and I slide my hand down as my voice goes into the sharp area. Here that I go from sharp to in tune. That's uh, how you get this set up. And then next you're going to tell them that you're not going to do any pointing. Um, you're just going to say, I'm going to sing flat on this one. I'm going to hold the note a long time. I'm repeatedly hitting that note on the keyboard so they connect the auditory pieces of it. Um, and then you're going to tell them that when you get into the bullseye, they have to raise their hand to show that they have heard you hit the bullseye. So. I'm starting flat. Make sure you say that so they can start to connect flat to what it really sounds like. When their hands will shoot up. Some will be early because their ears are not as refined. Uh, they want to be the first one. But um, you look, you learn a lot about your students in this moment whose ears are really good just from that listening. They have to silently listen. And you want to make it obvious. We want success in s cubed, So that's why I'm making it so flat. I'm always on a different pitch. But you need to do that you know, to make it help them be successful. You can get more and more detailed as you go with time and their ears get better, but we want to start to make it obvious in the beginning. Then I'll do one that's sharp. I'll say this is going to be sharp. When I get into the bullseye, when you hear me gradually get in there, I want you to raise your hand to show me that you hear it. And there they go. So their hands will shoot up. You do this maybe up to two minutes. Uh, we don't want to overdo. We want to just get those ears trained. It takes time. Uh, that is the essence of uh, exercise part three of this listening uh, exercise for lesson three. Hope it's working for you.